June the 6th, 2024 saw SpaceX's Starship rocket take to the skies for its fourth flight test. Now more than three months later, noticing the recovery vessel HOS Ridgewind out in the relative vicinity of the booster landing site on September the 17th certainly intrigued us. We concluded that it was likely that the Ridgewind was out salvaging or recovering portions of Booster 11, which suffered a catastrophic breakup following touchdown on June the 6th. We were confident that HOS Ridgewind was recovering debris. When we arrived on scene, it was immediately obvious that the area was a hive of activity, with a dozen workers on deck carrying out operations and generators running supplying power. At seeing this image, the main crane was deployed over the side of the ship. In Sentinel-2 imagery from the day before, the aft deck appeared clear and this crane is still stowed and not over the side. Here you can see dive lines are deployed as well as power and data lines for ROVs. On the forecastle deck, cabling and piping supplying the ROVs is visible. For reference, this ship usually will carry one or two Triton XLS class ROVs. The two blue ROV cages are notably empty, signifying that at the time we were out there, debris may have been being recovered. And most importantly, a blue tarp covering mangled debris was seen on the aft deck. Upon analysis, we believe that there is some segment of a downcomer sticking out of the left side of this tarp. In previous satellite imagery, there was no blue tarp present, so there was nothing on deck at that time. We therefore speculate that there might be a Raptor engine bell on its side near the middle as well. Nearby, there are also two large white bags present. We assume they contain debris from the booster. One of our favourite details is the visible Occupy Mars shirt that one of the crew members is clearly seen wearing. If you had any doubts that this operation was related to SpaceX, that should clear that up. In synthetic aperture radar imaging from Sentinel-1, of the night before our little expedition, the aft crane is visibly deployed over the side. It is therefore a reasonable assumption to assume that they only pulled objects up under the cover of night. Early in the morning on the 22nd, the Ridgewind began the return leg. It is currently set to arrive at the port of Altamira on the 23rd. We hope you enjoyed watching this mini investigation into the secret world of SpaceX recovery operations. If you want to find out more details on how we work this all out, or want to see even more images, go visit our Twitter or X account, where we've posted an in-depth thread on what's going on. If you like this video and want to see more insane and groundbreaking spaceflight content in the future, specifically focusing on SpaceX's Starship program, do subscribe to our channel. We promise it'll be worth it.